now the next thing is basically to do the google ml vision setup or you can say firebase ml vision setup so for that uh, what we need to do is uh, simply first of all go to your browser go to google.com and simply simply search for firebase okay and you will see this firebase.google.com you can also simply type this firebase.google.com in your url and press enter and it will redirect you to this page make sure that you are already logged into your gmail account uh, using this browser okay so anyways now go click on this go to console and then you will see a screen like this where you have to simply click on this add project and then write your project name so i am going to give it name as image to text converter image to text converter app so you have to simply write your project name here then click continue and then click continue select default account for firebase create project and let's wait for it So our project has been created successfully in the Firebase console and here we go. You have to simply click on this Android icon and then here we have to provide our package name which you can get from your project. So go back to your project, go to Android app build.gradle and inside it if you scroll a little bit then here you can see this application id just copy this application id from here and come back to the browser just simply paste that here and click on register app then you have to simply download this google services.json file just click on it and it will download it here you can see it if I show you then this is the file that we just downloaded come back to the project and we have to place that Google uh, JSON file inside this app folder so what you need to do is simply select this I mean drag and drop this file above this app folder hopefully you can see it okay and just leave it here I mean uh, above this app folder just click refractor and if I show you now the F folder, then here you can see we have Google services.json file. It is inside the app folder. So please follow the exact same steps. So anyways, now uh, come back to the browser and you need to simply click on next. And we have to add this to our project build.gradle. So just copy this and then come back to the project and we have now if i show you inside the android build.gradle inside the dependencies after this we can simply paste it and now the next thing is to the app mode or app module build.gradle file we have to add this plugin apply plugin com gms google services so just copy this and come back to the project and now let's close this close this so android app build.gradle so here we have to add it down here at the bottom just like this now once you do this the next step is to add the ML vision dependencies in the popspec.yml file. So for that, uh, what we need to do, you need to simply go to the pop.dev and simply search for uh, Firebase ML vision. Okay, just search for this Firebase ML vision, this one, Firebase underscore ML underscore vision. Then click on installing. And from here you can simply copy this dependency and then come back to the project and simply paste that here now this version this is not the required version I mean it will show errors if you test the app it will tell you that downgrade the ML vision version so we have to use the correct 
I mean exact required version. So please write use the same version which I am using, which is 0.9 point six plus two. Okay, this version. Alongside with that, do not close this Firebase ML version because we have to go to the documentation and inside the documentation we have to add something so let's just open this in a new tab pop.dev and search for image picker this one image underscore picker click on installing and just copy this dependency for image picker and come back to the project and simply paste that here okay just like this now click on pubget and now let's just go back to the documentation for the firebase ml vision so according to the documentation for the Android, we have to add this to our build.gradle file, app level build.gradle file. So first of all, uh, let's add this and make sure that this one, okay, which is Firebase ML Vision image level model, okay, the image level model. So let's just copy this. Once you copy this, come back to the project and now go to the Android app level i mean app build.gradle and here we have to paste it inside the dependencies so just paste that here and the next thing is to add this metadata to our manifest file so just copy this and come back to the project now go to the android app src man Android manifest.xml and in here we can paste this here just like this. So yeah, that's it. And for the iPhones, I mean for the iOS, you can follow these steps. So, anyways, now we are good to go. So come back here to the project and now to the home page dot dot